the king. The king of kings. May I have your attention, please? My name is CM Punk. That's right, Triple H. You watching this, you're gonna see it. You're gonna believe it right now, right now, Triple H. I'm here to defend him. No, you shut up. Give me a break to talk. You see you people who are like going crazy on him and bringing the hating on him. This show, you, don't, you know nothing about the show at first place. This show got created by that man. It got created in January 28th of last year, and it has been like 18 months since the creation of the show, and you just noticed him, and now you bring the heat on him? You haven't, like, judged the concept of the show. You just judged his looks, his performance, his language, his appearance, and the stage itself. You should judge your show by its concept, its segments, not the performer. If the performer sucks, which he does not suck, he does not suck, but you believe that he sucks, but you did not, like, say the show itself sucks, you did not discuss the concept of the show. He is the voice of the voiceless of Kuwait, I am the voice of the voiceless of the WWE fans and the WWE universe. This is CM Punk once again. Triple H, I'll see you at Night of Champions. Shut up, give me a break to talk. Now you idiots, you should give him a chance. You never gave anyone a chance on YouTube. You only gave the Americans. How about someone new from Kuwait going on YouTube trying to make a talk show, a TV quality talk show, getting it really a bit serious. All of them are like making fun, singing, doing things. This is new, this is original. Give him a break. Now you give me a break to talk. I know, but either way, you give him a chance. You, you judge the concept, all right? That's it, I'm out of here. I see you at Night of Champions, Triple H. Dude, dude, dude. Hold on, punk! Punk! Come on, we did not discuss this! Why did you do this? And... Since when do you use a handheld mic? Punk! Come on! We had an interview! Don't leave! God... I don't know! We did not discuss that! I did not ask you to defend me! God... Just start the show! show reloaded I apologize again I don't know what got into punk we were scheduled to have an interview later on in the WWE segment and he just decided to go off and begin the show and I did not ask him to defend me he just left and I'm pissed off but I believe what he said was sort of right and he did not like not mention that my show is not scripted that's why David Letterman J Jimmy Fallon are so so great when they perform because they are scripted monitors right in front of them I got no script you saw the papers earlier I got only ideas and I discussed them live on the show I don't take second shots I don't do anything else but I don't know he just pissed off he got a promo as well not cool punk you're the last time gonna have a guest and you were the first guest on the show so you gotta be like in history of the extreme show or something but anyways let's start the show with the extremely reloading segment the favorite segment so far i believe um so bieber related news justin bieber got into a fender bender a minor car accident his ferrari black car got into he like the guy who bumped into him from the behind and there were no no um, no injuries for the both um, parties. Um, the car was actually a Honda, so a Honda like crashing into a Ferrari. No car insurance will ever cover that mess up. And thank God, no one got hurt, and both cars did not get any damages on their bodies. And I believe no file was reported by the police, the LAPD. Um, another JB related news is that Justin Bieber is going to be 
um, in a charity event, like all-star event for charity. It will be Team Beaver against Team Luda. That's amazing. The description box will list the link for you to go buy the tickets. And the match will be live this Saturday. Is that tomorrow? Yeah, I believe. But either way, let's move on to see how rumors suck. Rumors speculate everywhere, every time, and ha it has been speculating about the iPhone, about um, breakups, relationships, um, even in politics, there are so, so many rumors. There's still people who, who do not believe that Osama bin Laden is actually dead. But either way, the topic right here to discuss the rumors about relationships. Will Smith and J Jada um, Pickett Smith are not breaking up. They had made several statements, and even their sons, um, Jaden Smith, and I know what the other guy's name, but they stated on their Twitter that my parents are not breaking up. They are the best lovers I can see. They are the best actors. They are awesome, and they are not breaking up. So cut it with the rumors I had, like, to this high, and I'm to this high, right? But either way, let's move on. Um, I got the top finals, the top 10 finals for the Americans Got Talent, gonna list them right now, we got Anna Graceman, right, yeah, either way, um, Landau, Eugene, Murphy Jr., um, Landon Swank, the magician, he's good, um, the Smage brothers, or the Smagy brothers, excuse me, um, they are a writer show, they'll, like, get it to the extreme limit, yeah, and, um, we got Lise Agnes, she's cool, um, we got the Miami All-Stars, the All-Stars, the All-Stars, no, it's the All-Stars. They are a great dance crew. I've seen them, and they are awesome. Uh, this is going to be a heated battle on America's Got Talent. This season six is going to be the best seasons of all time. Moving on, we got um, the West Springfield dance team. They got, they got some sick moves. Um, we got Silhouettes. Those are also great dancers as well. We got a great band from our generation, Papa Life. I'm going to vote for them, no doubt about it. And I'm also going to go vote for Team Illuminate. They got great technology in their hands. It is a heated battle, and these top ten are going to um, the America's Got Talent top ten show. I believe it is will, um, like going to air next Tuesday, and well, on NBC or ABC. No, it's NBC. But either way, let's move on. Did some Muslims celebrate Eid by seeing planet Saturn? Did that really happen? Or did the other Muslims celebrate Eid on its actual second day? Isn't it enough that we have many religions in this world and we're battling to see whose religion is the true religion? But now we have to fight our own kind, like I'm a Muslim, he's a Muslim, Sunnah, Shia, gonna go battle and say, Eid ended, I meant Ramadan ended this day, and Eid started that day. No, my Eid is right, your Eid is wrong. That is, I had enough, I had enough. I had enough with rumors, I had enough with these battles. We are one religion, not two, but sadly we have two paths in one religion. That cannot work with me. I hate it. Everyone else hates it watching this video, and... Someday it has to end. Someday I want us united. Seriously. But I'm not going to even discuss this more because this is really, really ridiculous, actually. It might be even rumors and jokes about how they um, celebrated Eid with planet Saturn, not the moon. And they also made jokes about us celebrating Eid on the second day. It's, in, it's actually in the newspapers. That's the problem. The public are talking about it, and they are giving them freedom of speech in our own religion, but not freedom of speech uh, against our own government. That is crazy. Let's just move on to another car accident. But this time, it's a WWE superstar, Santino Marella, as you are watching in the pictures. It is a major car crash, not like JB's car, car accident. It's crazy. He did call on um, the WWE.com executives and whatever. He did make an interview and he did state it that he is a bit okay or something. I did not listen to that or did not read the whole thing. But I wish that he recovers as soon as possible and re uh, returns to the ring in ring action. But apparently the WWE is not using him as well as not using um, the 
Broski of YouTube, the internet champion, um, Zack Ryder. Um, they are misusing these great and incredible talents, and they are just pushing Sheamus, Mark Henry now. Like, do everyone have to t wait in lines for a push? And I'm glad that Airborne got a push with the WWE Tag Team belts, Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne. But more on the way on the WWE Catch-Up segment. And coming right up is the, is the Friday Night Movie Hunt of September 2nd. So we'll be right back. So come on back, guys. Come on back. Welcome back to the show. I, uh, I just got to say it again. Earlier on the show, when Punk just interrupted and just started right before me, I believe his mic wasn't on. This mic does not work. Can anyone just understand me? This does not work. How? And he was shaking too. He does that. Uh, he does not do that on the WWE when he get, cuts promos. But uh, because this is not scripted, he was shaking. He was just speaking his mind off, and he was shaking. And he looked like an amateur or something. But dude, this mic was not on. The mic that was on you was on. I don't know if you're gonna watch the episode. You just made huge things on the beginning of the show but again why did you just say those stuff and why do you want me to stop calling the show or saying that the show is meant for US viewers because it is the idea from the beginning when I started it 18 months ago how come you want me to change it now uh, why am I even holding this either way um, I don't know my show I'm not saying that no one other than Americans, Americans can see it I'm just saying that who should talk about the show and who wants to judge the show should be judging the concept just like Punk said earlier on and I believe Americans do understand what a judgment is and if you judge a book by its cover you are an asshole or like an idiot so well Either way, the Friday Night Movie Hunt of September 2nd, 2011, releasing tonight. First up, we got Shark Night 3D, starring Sarah Paxton and Dustin Milligan. Milligan, right? But either way, um, coming right up is a m an, like, uh, an actorless movie. Does that even make sen sense? Because on their MDB page, it, all it says that there is a reason we're never or we have never gone back to the moon here's the picture if you don't believe me and I wanna go to it it says Apollo 18 and two uncredited cats so I believe this is like sort of a documentary where there are no actual actors I don't know google it up and you'll see who is acting or just go to the movie if you are a NASA fan or um whatever this movie is about fans so either way those are the only two movies that are releasing nationwide hopefully tonight on the screens of the United States. You see, when I do this, you'd say that I suck. But why am I doing this? Because this is not scripted, this is not practiced, and you're gonna say, then practice. Do a script, do all these things. I'm not a machine. I'm the cameraman, I am the vocals, I d handle the vocals of the show, I do the editing, I am the, I direct myself what to do, I write the jokes, if any. Um, I write what I want to put on the show. I do everything from lights to what I'm wearing right now, even if you do not like it. I do all these things. Those on TV have staff to do that for them. They just go ahead and just be smiley and goofy and do what the monitor says, and that's it. I, on the other hand, have to do all these things all by myself. Do you get that picture in your head? If you do not, then just do what you want to do and we'll be right back with the WWE. Alright, it's the WWE time. Best segment on the show, hopefully. But either way, we got a Monday Night Raw Super Show. New concept made by WWE COO, Chief Operating Officer Triple H. He opened up last Monday's Night Raw. It was amazing. The concept was not only featuring Monday Night Raw superstars, but also Friday Night SmackDown superstars week in and week out each Monday live on Sci-Fi, excuse me, USA Network. I just caught up with Super SmackDown. We'll have more of that, more on that later on. First off, so after that announcement that Super Show is on each week, um, he was 
interrupted by CM Punk, just like how he interrupted, interrupted me in the beginning. Well, actually, he just pushed me away and did what he did earlier on. Either way, so just Punk came out and he did his regular thing and just like what he did earlier on. And then Kevin Nash comes in, they get into a bitch fight, Triple H calls it right down the middle and says, you want the match, you got it at Night of Champions, it's Kevin Nash against CM Punk, but you might regret it after all. But either way, we have more on that, as you noticed, I'm wishing, or I believe he cut a promo with Triple H and you'll find out why he did that later on again, but either way, let's move on to... Um, one of, well, the main event of the episode of Monday Night Raw this past Monday, Cena and Sheamus tag teaming together against Christian and Mark Henry earlier on the show on Monday Night Raw. They caught up after Cena was um, catching another promo for Night of Champions. He was interrupted by Mark Henry and then by Christian and then Sheamus came to the rescue. But now the main event is between these four men in a tag team match. And it, of course, ended in a spear, but Cena did not lose. He, like, shook things up, pushed Christian into the bro kick or something. The bro, the bro kick, the bro kick. What's Sheamus's move, finishing move? Um, he did it on Conan O'Brien show or something like that. Um, this sucks. What's his name? Um, I, I really have no idea. It's like the bro kick or something. I don't know. But you're seeing the picture and then it was followed by the AA added adjustment. That move, I like it. I know its name because I'm not a fan of Sheamus either way. So, after that main event ended, we head back to the backstage area as Triple H calls for Punk. And Triple H goes to say your match at Night of Champions is cancelled. And then drops another bombshell that he is, re he is returning to in-ring activity. No, in-ring competition. And he will be taking off the suit one more time to put or to end his issues with CM Punk. As CM Punk has been hating on Triple H for so, so many times on oh, Monday Night Raw. Just taking the mic just like what he did. Like taking it. I can I can actually make a promo or a parody of him, and well, he just lo he just cr goes crazy and stuff. He just like, who wears the pants in your family? You or Stephanie? You you might wear her panties, right? He keeps doing those stuff. I don't know why, but he just upset the game, the King of Kings. I am the extreme King of Kings. He has a matter and problems with CM Punk. Um, by the way, Triple H, the King of Kings kind of sort of belongs to God, but you deal with him because I'm the King of Kings. No one is like copyrighting that thingy. But either way, let's move on to Super SmackDown as we had a contract signing three epic main events. Gonna talk about two, but either way, um, first off, we got Triple H coming out, not Triple H, excuse me, John Cena coming out. And then he just feels like it's home because SmackDown was his brand at first in 2002, I believe. So he gets interrupted by his opponent on Super SmackDown this past Tuesday, live on Sci-Fi. He comes out, Wade Barrett, and just like an encore of Nexus and John Cena of last year, the best rivalry in, uh, in 2010, right? Did I make that right? But either way. So Wade Barrett says that uh, you haven't learned anything from my lessons this past year and another bitch fight. And then um, they head on to their match in SmackDown. That was awesome. I loved seeing these two in a battle. And of course, Cena won after the AA, the added adjustment. Just simple as that. Just as simple as that. Is that even a word? Yeah, it's of course it's a word. But either way, let's move on to the contract signing. Triple H and Punk has to be official. Um, of course, another bitch fight between these two. CM Punk goes on. Um, Triple H goes on. And just a promo for Night of Champions, a regular one. But either way, they get interrupted by Kevin Nash. And Kevin Nash just hurries to the ring. Triple H is like, don't attack him, he's holding off or like t telling him back off Punk. And then Nash just comes in and makes a whole mess as you are seeing in the picture. And then 
CM Punk pushes Triple H, Triple H says, no one push, pushes me. He, he distracted that Nash was next to him. He was not like saying, it's two on one. No, it was still one on one. He was saying, bring it. But Nash was standing right next to him. And boom, a kick right to the face, knocking CM Punk right down the middle of the ring. And then Triple H freaks out. Pushes Nash, pushes Nash, and then Nash is, freaks out and pushes Triple H in the hardest way a human being can push another human being. Either way, he pushed him down real hard. He attacked his friend, and there were like, like a huge conspiracy behind it. Who sent that text message? Who did it? Did Stephanie did it? Did she send that message? It is an epic conspiracy. Did um, John Laurinaitis send it? Did, um, did the raw GM, the anonymous GM, send that text message since, since he was like just setting off his laptop or Mac or whatever you want to call it right down the ringside area and not, does not do the stupid Apple like ringtone and stuff? But either way, did he send that text message from Triple H's iPhone? Does he even have an iPhone from his phone? But either way, it is a huge conspiracy. But now let's move on to a bigger one or a similar one to the main event. Christian, Randy Orton one more time, this time in a steel cage for the World Heavyweight Championship. It was a great match, but right down the end of the match, there you saw it, uh, extreme RKO from the top turnbuckle. It was awesome, one, two, three, Randy Orton retains, but at what cost? He will be facing Mark Henry at Night of Champions and they had another promo, so like three promos so far. Uh, Mark Henry rushes to the ring, Randy Orton actually tries to get, to get himself out of the cage and out of the behemoth himself. Um, Mark Henry and then just Mark Henry caught up with the action he just gave him huge pain and he, as you are seeing the picture Randy Orton is literally broken in pieces I don't know what will happen out of champions we got lots of crazy matches Cena, Del Rio, Triple H, CM Punk um, Randy Orton, Mark Henry more on the way Kevin Nash somewhere in the picture I don't know what will happen crazy things are happening and oh boy, that's it for the WWE catch-up segment. Okay guys, that's all the time that we got for you on tonight's episode. Be, make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Jack Mazzini, like the Facebook page. You got everything in the description box. Special thanks for the special appearance, not so special. He did awful things. He was like treating me like a child. I can fight my own battles, punk. But thanks for appearing. But we had a schedule. We were going to make an interview as you are my first guest. But screw you. Either way, um, just thanks for watching. Comment, like, hate, and subscribe. Bring on the heat on me, guys. I feel like a celebrity right now. People buzzing about me. People loving me. It is all crazy, mixed emotion, just like Cena standing in the middle of the ring, like listening to the mixed emotions, children saying, let's go Cena, and the older men, stupid fans saying, Cena sucks, that is awesome, ladies and gentlemen, I love it, do it, do whatever you want to do, I believe in the freedom of speech, this is your turn to just bring it, sorry Dwayne, but you did not copyright it. But either way, just bring it on, haters. Thanks for watching. As usual, Jack Mazid is right now piecing off. Wishing to see you next Friday on the Extreme Show Reloaded. <laughs>